Welcome to another episode of the Return to the Gym series. Today we're going to be looking at why we should possibly be prioritizing compound lifts over isolation when we first return to the gym. So quickly, what is the difference between compound and isolation? So compound movements are movements that work across multiple joints. So over one joint, so things like squats, deadlifts, pull-ups, shoulder presses, um, and isolations are one that works across one singular joint. So that might be a tricep pushdown, leg extension, and exercises like that. The reason why we should probably be looking at our compound lifts instead of our isolation exercises is for a number of reasons. One, re-establishing those big movement patterns, those fundamental movement patterns. So overhead press, vertical pull, horizontal press, horizontal pull, squat motions and hip hinge motions. By prioritizing those movements, you are laying the foundations for all of the other accessory movements. Also, the compound movements are going to engage more muscle mass in one given rep, meaning that you are gonna sort of fire up more muscle mass per unit of time. Now, when we spoke about last week about how we might want to reduce volume as we come down, this allows us to do fewer exercises as we come back into the gym, but still stimulate a lot of muscle mass. So again, we get to stimulate a lot of muscle mass whilst reducing overall session volume. Focusing on compound lifts also allows us to focus on the form of these major movements. A lot of us before lockdown we're probably guilty of being a little bit sloppy with form and just chasing the weight up. By just focusing in on the compound lifts, we can concentrate on making the form of these lifts much, much better than they were and much more effective for muscle growth. Once we've established that good mind-muscle connection and you know we've built some volume back into our training, we can then add in the isolation movements to increase overall training volume on any given muscle group. And finally, possibly not starting with our isolation movements may reduce muscle soreness post-workout, especially as we are coming back into the gym of a uh, long layoff. Doing lots of isolation movements may cause a lot of oxidative damage to the muscle and you might be incredibly sore simply just because of the layoff of time that we've had from major lifting uh, free weight training. So there you have it guys, there's a little overview of maybe why we should be prioritizing compound lifts over isolation to start. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop a comment below, message me directly, always happy to help. Uh, have a great day guys, and I will see you tomorrow.